Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. If you're new, as always, and a thumbs up. Whether you enjoy the video or not, just hit that thumbs up button. We're getting a delivery. So we're heading down to the driveway. Today we are getting what I consider probably one of the most important preparedness items that we've ever gotten on the farm, or at least as important as some of the most important items that you can get when you prepare for hard times. So as we take a look at all the things taking place globally, locally, it's looking like hard times. And in preparation for that, guys, we are getting a new animal, and this animal will greatly reduce costs at the grocery store. Ooh, it is cold. It's got a nice gust of wind there. Costs at the grocery store, so it will reduce those costs. The need to go to the grocery store, it will reduce traveling. The, ooh, the need for traveling. The product. We will have items on this farm that we can trade and barter for other items needed with neighbors around us. We're getting a milk cow, guys. Surprise ruined, it is on its way. Um, I got a neighbor bringing it down. We're actually buying it from a neighbor. She's coming down with our new Jersey cow. So stay tuned to watch us get the Jersey cow into that pen right there. So this pen, after I showed this to you guys in a couple videos prior to this video, I showed you guys this pen, we were prepping for it. That thing actually flooded because we had three days of rain and then two days of warm weather and all the snow, all the water flooded into there. So we took a big bale of straw, threw it in there, helped soak that stuff up, uh, trenched out the water. You can see the trench coming through where it drained out and then everything froze. So. We've spent the morning torching all of this and getting the getting the panel opened up so we can get a cow in there. Pretty excited to bring in this new animal and, and, and really the level of excitement comes from the lifestyle of preparing. And all that really means is taking a look at the world around you and eliminating some sort of a dependence on the system and for us, uh, we go through quite a bit of milk. We really should have had a cow um, years ago. We go through quite a bit of milk. Uh, we go through quite a bit of cheese as well. Um, and other just dairy products. So for us, adding one more cow to the mix is easy to do. Um, and adding a dairy cow specifically is just kind of a no-brainer. We should have done it a while ago. All right, we'll wait for the cow to get here and then I will do my best to show you guys the offloading of it. I'm missing half of my family today because we had someone drive over from Montana to pick up one of the new puppies, one of the healer pups. So all of our healer pups are gone except for one. We have one more female healer pup. If you guys are local and looking for a blue healer, uh, go ahead and email us. But for now, we are going to wait and uh, try to record us getting this cow out as well as physically get the cow out so my camera operators are MIA.
of all the parts to start. yearling Jersey milk cow there kind of a typical story uh, for for cows livestock this year feed prices are so high grasses you know $400 a ton um, hovering right there $400 a ton a lot of people are having to thin down their herds and uh, my neighbor was able to get a deal on a couple of, of uh, Jersey heifers and we expressed interest in it and she passed the deal right on to us so um great for us we now have a, a jersey cow a milk cow and we will be we will be breeding her uh coming up in the summer and then that'll that'll be giving us milk on the farm here in the next little oh well like a year we're like a year out from milk but we're planning ahead and uh that's the point right plan ahead to make things easier on you this thing does not have a name yet. This thing is gonna become Shelby's new best friend. Shelby and the girls are the ones who are wanting to milk the cow. Uh, so if you guys have a suggestion for a good, good milk cow name, put it in the comments below. So as we do with all of our animals, guys, you can see there is a chair right there. The goal is going to be to get to sit in that chair right next to that cow while it eats. Um, friendly animals make safer handling and most all of our animals are safe to the point that you can walk up and around them no problem. Some of them get a little scared or flighty. Now I got basically two cows I can't walk up to and do whatever to. The rest of them allow us to pet them however, wherever, so making sure that our milk cow is super friendly super safe is going to be the point that way she keeps herself from being injured and then keeps us from being injured when we're handling her